Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, for some more Fruits Basket greatness. This being the first episode of the second season, man. It's been over half a year. I'm so happy it's back. I'm so happy it's here. Honestly, I don't think it aired on Mondays, though. Last time I felt like it was like Thursdays or Fridays because I always worked on the days that it came out, so I would have to put it out late. It always sucked. Sometimes I didn't get it out on time, but most of the time I wasn't able to. So if it's going to be on Mondays every week, like it seems like it's going to be from now on, that's going to work out perfectly for me because I don't work Mondays. So that's a, that's a great start, right? That's a great start for this season. But uh, all jokes aside, man, this season, it seems like the floodgates are just going to open. I'm going to be just straight up honest. Like, I know season one, we had, like, pretty much all of our introductions. Well, not all of them, because it seems like we're going to have some more at the beginning of this season, maybe, because they did, like, tease or foreshadow some characters at the end of season one. But primarily, we had all of our introductions in season one. So that just tells me, I mean, looking at the trailer for this season as well, that this season is where it's just going to break open, right? Just, who knows, man? Like, I'm just not ready because so many things in season one got to me you guys know so it's like oh great season two man like <laughs> it's probably gonna be obviously the, like some really happy moments like the highest of highs and then just you know the lowest of lows in terms of like sadness or whatever may be going on you know what i'm saying but it seems like this season is gonna be big on obviously like the curse and breaking the curse and so we, we, when you're getting into that which is like pretty much the central thing of the series this season and beyond is just probably going to be crazy, man. So it's great to be back, though. It's it's great to be back, but I may not be ready for what's in store um, with this season, man. So I'm just ready to get into more. We've waited over a half a year, right, for this moment to get into more Fruits Basket, the next, the next season, excuse me. Um, so let's get into this episode, everyone. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started in three, two, one, play. Oh, when I see my boy Kyo, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip. I don't know if they're gonna show everyone, essentially. We're, we're starting off with Yuki here, but... I don't know if we're gonna see everyone in this episode, but I would love that. Uh, and we're gonna start off with the with the fan club. Yeah. Yeah, we, we love them too. We love them too. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, we're, we're gonna start off with her. We're gonna start off with her. <laughs> She Toru. Oh, come on. Come on. Should this girl just give up? Like, I'm not for like that. Honestly, like, I always tell people, like, don't give up. Or, like, you know, tell my, try to tell myself, don't give up. So, I don't want her to give up. But, I mean, damn. What is she about to do? Like, she actually about to make her move? She actually about to do something, you know? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. We got the OP here, too, so... I'm I'm excited for that new OP, new ED. My goddess, dude. Okay, I'm vibing with this. I kind of like the aesthetic too so far. Yo, let's go, man. What they did with him at the end of season one. Oh my god. Hana and Yuo Chan, let's go. Kyoko. Oh, it's so great to see everyone back. We're probably going to see a lot more of Akito in this season as well, obviously, if it's going to deal with breaking the curse and all that. Yo! Oh, I like the reflection. I love this aesthetic, dude. Momiji. Kisun, Hero. No, I, Hero did grow on me. Hatsu! This is the girl. This is the girl y'all were going crazy about. Oh, man. Hatori, Shigure. Oh, dude. It's so great to see everyone. But yeah, that girl who's like the horse, apparently, I guess, the OP just lets you know, right? She's going to be the one, or she was the one that you guys were like flipping out about. Because I think that's who we saw at the end of the first season. Dude, I love this, man. I love the OP. I love the aesthetic, like this kind of like the sparkles in the background, like the reflection of like their, you know, their Zodiac or their animal. That's, that's neat. Just seeing everyone, man. Ah. Hello, hello again. I'm also really interested in the whole Shigure and Akito thing, them going more into that, right? Because obviously Shigure is a real, like, interesting character to me. Probably to all of us.
All of them are carrying a sadness deep in their heart, something that's holding them back, the curse, right? That she's all obviously about breaking that, getting them out of this. Dude, yes, this is what I was talking about, man. That just sends chills, like, thinking about that again, dude. Ah. Uh... Oh, my God, dude. That was like my favorite thing with season one. This was my favorite scene, probably the kill in in uh Taurus. I mean, it kind of just solidified kill as my favorite character in the series. Honestly, <laughs> the working life. Some of them already know what that's about, right? <laughs> Lovingly. <laughs> yeah, Tori's too. Yeah, Tori won't do that. She's she's too innocent. She's she's too pure. Oh, <laughs> the cat goes flying. <laughs> Maybe this first episode, the premiere episode for season two, doesn't rip our hearts out. Like, that would be great, you know? It probably will, but... <laughs> oh, watch where you're pointing that thing. <laughs> you threatening them, Toru? Like, what's up? No, she... She's not, of course. So the thing that end of season one was big on, obviously with Kyo and Yuki, is them like building on their weaknesses, working on their weaknesses, the things that they want to get better with. So even if it's little by little, yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I be with Shigre, dude. Like we we know we are we already know what's up with Shigre. Like he's like this, and then he's like just. Kind of, it seems like sh kind of shady on the other end, you know, like with Akito and all that. Like, he loves to stir things up. Facts, right? She don't. She she definitely don't. Oh, I like this track they're using. Is this a new one? This OST? Oh my god. <laughs> Gender, see, gender doesn't matter. Why is you know, gender's irrelevant? Like, <laughs> everyone's into them. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. It's probably going to be some of those new characters we saw, like, briefly at the end of the first season who are going to be, like, these new characters beside him. I'm pretty sure, I would think. <laughs> Yo Chad
Hana! She came from the other side, like... <laughs> that presence, man. That presence. Damn, they dipped out of there. They dipped off the whole campus. Oh, okay. Are they winning here? Or is this a different girl? Oh, this is someone else, I think. Oh, my God. The hell is going on in here, right? What the Right, something's definitely up. What the hell? I think this is one of the new... Yeah, I think this is them, right? That we saw at the end of season one, like, very briefly. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this might be some trouble for Yuki. Or he's going to have to whip them into shape or something. They're going to be slackers. Or maybe she, this Machi girl, tries to like make, make up for his slacking off or something. I have no idea. This guy's certainly a firecracker. <laughs> Yuki's just so like, what the heck is going on in his mind? Like, that's what he's just like, what the hell? <laughs> he won't even give him a chance to talk. Oh my god. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, so the yeah, okay, so they are the new members or the new ones who are gonna be under him. Oh great, right? He, he, this is just a problem. This is a big problem. Yuki, uh good luck. Good luck, Yuki. <laughs> this man took a step back like oh shit. He's definitely gonna have to whip them into shape. <laughs> or at least him, right? You thinking of Kyo? He's relating them to Kyo? Oh, Ayame? <laughs> Even worse, right? Or uh, maybe about the same, maybe about the same Kyo and the uh, Ayame. It seems like she works at least. This Machi girl, like she probably makes up for that Manabe. I think that was his name, right? For his BS. But the way she is, though, kind of like, like what's up with her? There's definitely something up with her. But he's still going to work. It's like, like, what? <laughs> Yuki, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> I feel so bad for. But this, yeah, this guy is certainly a firecracker, dude. He, he, jeez. He might be even worse than Ayame in terms of like how he acts, you know? Because I love Ayame, but it's like, man. That's okay. That's what he's talking about when he said black. I do like this the Super Sentai stuff though. So uh, that that's kind of that's why he, that's why he joined. That's kind of cool though that he's into that.
Oh, another one he hates. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this guy so far, too. I don't know. I, I'm going to need more. Because it's like he carries this on the outside. He carries this whole, like, you know, this personality. He's, you know, he talks a lot. He's kind of like a firecracker. And then I don't know what we heard right there. It was maybe more of his real self. Or what does he really have inside of him or deep down that I think there's Probably a lot more there. And there's definitely something up with a girl. Oh my god. That's why you gotta make your move. You gotta do something now. <laughs> That's what I was thinking she was gonna do. Like... You gonna make more of a move or that was it. <laughs> that, like that was it. <laughs> you should have waited another year to have me. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. So that interaction like would have never happened. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what the hell? Taking desperate measures. Oh my god. Is it already open? <laughs> oh. Oh, she just stole the, she stole your spotlight. She stole what you were supposed to do, <laughs> probably. Hey, well, here you, here she goes. Don't blow it. <laughs> Right, as I was saying, like, don't fuck this up. Don't, don't mess this up. She's, she's stumbling. She's stumbling a little bit. <laughs> you know, Yuki, yeah, Yuki's just gonna be honest and nice with her. Like, he's not gonna, like... What is Nato? I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Is it like nasty or like why? Why does it kind of look down upon? I don't know. <laughs> look how she's looking at her. There is hope. Is there? Is there really though? Like, <laughs> I mean, all he said was it was cute. So, this is what he's been big about, though. This is what you know, with the end of season one. I mean, part, you know, a lot of season one, changing himself. You know, being more upfront and more honest. Like, not keeping it in. Like. You 
You should just be happy that he's changing, though, right? Like, you should, like... He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the hell was that? I mean, because she wants it to be her so bad. But, I mean, I, if, if I was her, I would be happy that he's changing anyway. Like, because, I mean... Or feeling that way? So she actually like knows that this is like not right to kind of feel that way or it's like Damn. I didn't think they'd do this with her, to be honest. I you know, I thought it would always be kinda of like a gag sort of thing where it never really got serious, but they're kinda of getting a little serious with it. That's good that she realizes that <laughs> how she is about other girls with him is not really right, you know. I probably have her to thank for him changing. Yeah, and getting the... Yep. Yo. She's honest, though. I respect that. I respect that she's honest with herself. And that's good that you... She's, like I was saying earlier, like... Like, you can't give up. I don't think she really has a chance, but I do... You know, you still can't give up, though. You never know, though. You never know. That's true. That's true. Personally, I don't think it would be her, but... Because I think it's supposed to be, like, Toru and Kyo, right? And then who knows what's going to happen with Yuki. I'm not really sure what they do with it, but maybe she does have a chance to burn down the line. I have no idea. <laughs> I couldn't see it, but... Really? This was, yeah, this was, that was the girl I was talking about that y'all were going crazy about. Oh, who is that with her? I feel like we've maybe saw that whoever that is before, like, but it was probably very briefly. I couldn't tell because that definitely wasn't Shigure. It's like that was someone else. I'll do my best. She's doing her best. She's not gonna give up. Yuki's not gonna give up, obviously. That was nice, man. I didn't think they'd get that serious with it with the with the president of the fan club, the Yuki fan club, and all that. Um. Honestly, but and also the introduction to the Manabe guy, which you know, Yuki was saying he, which I mean we've saw Yuki like yo with Kyo. Obviously he's got you. you we know what him and Kyo have going on, kind of this that you know that feud or that rivalry or whatever. But they've learned from each other still. So even though he says he like hates Kyo or whatever the case may be, like he has actually learned things from him. So that's kind of like the same thing almost with the Manabe guy. That's why I was thinking maybe he was comparing uh him to like Kyo but I guess I Ayame <laughs> which I guess he says the same thing for I Ayame too so maybe it, that applies as well but man the OP and ED like are for this season are are pretty chill I got to say 
the charm park. And I love the visuals for him too, like the aesthetic. Yeah, this is a vibe, man. I like both the new tracks. I like both the new tracks. Can't even lie. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Oh, is this like the banquet? Maybe? Trying to represent there with the visual. So yeah, it definitely feels great to be back with more Fruits Basket, man. I I, I love that we had with this episode here. It's, it, I feel like it's a great way to come back. It doesn't like... I was saying, like, please don't crush me, like, right off the bat with the with the, with the episode, and they, they didn't do that. Uh, it it was, it was mostly smiles. I'd say it feels great to be back, but they did get a little serious with us there at the end of the episode with um with I think her name's what, what's her name again Mo Motoko or Matoko or something like that, the uh, president girl for the Yuki fan club, and it you know that's kind of a side or something we haven't really got with her before. Honestly, is her kind of looking herself in the mirror and. You know, she's being honest with her feelings and and knowing that this actually isn't right. How, you know, this way she feels, how she hates all the girls that, you know, come close to him and whatnot. But she still is thankful for, in a way, like what Toru has done with him and how he's changed because of Toru. And, you know, he can smile because of Toru and he's continuing to change little by little. So they kind of, what they did with it is like, they took... Yuki and they took her and they kind of did like this, you know, almost the same thing essentially, just flip flopped, right? Because like she was saying she hates all the girls, but she actually is thankful, or is actually, you know, kind of got something from Toru, um, you know, for what she's obviously the impact that she's had on Yuki. And then with Yuki, he was saying he hates this Manabe guy, but he was actually like happy, actually kind of got something out of it, you know, from what he said to him. So, and and that's what it's all about, right? Taking these things in learning from them, um, you know, progressing, getting better with yourself, working on your weaknesses, building on your strengths. And I, I like that. I kind of like how they executed this episode um, for sure. It's, it's a good way to come back, definitely. And, and like I said for like the million top, it feels great to be back. I know we didn't see like everyone in this episode, but, um, it, you know, seeing Toru, seeing Kyo, you know, the, the Shigure household antics, you know, the classic antics, it was – it was a fun time. It was a fun episode here. So, but yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, whatever they're going to get into in this season, it's going to be like the floodgates are going to open. The floodgates are going to open if they weren't already open already. Like <laughs> they, they, they've opened at some points, but I feel like it's like really all going to come rushing, gushing out with this season, you know, man. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see, though. Let me know what you all thought of this premiere episode of the new season of Fruits Basket season two. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.